as the world seemed to be aligning with justice for Palestinians following international court resolutions. Several major donor countries have delivered a harsh setback by suspending funds to UNRWA, the main aid provider for Palestinians in Gaza and in the region, exacerbating an already dire humanitarian crisis. We are shocked by the reckless decision to cut a lifeline for an entire population by some of the very countries that had called for aid in Gaza to be stepped up and for humanitarians to be protected while doing their job. The decision has triggered widespread condemnation from 20 non-governmental organizations expressing concern and rejecting the move while welcoming investigations. The World Health Organization in Gaza labeled the decision a distortion of the reality on the ground. The shelters, the, the health centers, and everything else is provided in Gaza through UNRWA. Therefore, let me repeat Dr. Tedros' words. We appeal to donors not to suspend their funding to UNRWA at this critical moment. Cutting off funding will only hurt the people of Gaza, who desperately need support. Despite a series of countries cutting funding, international reactions to UNRWA's decision vary. Neighboring countries like Egypt and Lebanon, along with some European nations, have voiced deep concern and even outright refusal. This decision that donors countries took to stop UNRWA is very unjust for us. It's as if they are telling us to die. Die you and your children. Die you and your cause. Yeah. On the ground, Palestinians facing the ongoing crisis orchestrated by the Zionist occupation continue to endure desperate conditions. The pause in funding for the United Nations Aid Agency for Palestinian Refugees is met with condemnation from Gaza inhabitants and refugee camp residents, deeming the decision hasty and unjust. We say that is condemned and a hasty decision. It's a decision that punishes everyone. If what they are saying is correct, that 12 employees participated in the October 7th attacks, and it's their right after all us people defending their land, but you don't hold accountable 7 million Palestinians in the collective punishment. While the world remains largely silent and inactive in response to the daily war crimes committed by Zionist forces in Palestinian lands, Palestinians bear the brunt to the genocidal war and relentless bombing, exacerbating the already dire humanitarian situation in the Strip.